C, A minor, F. Yeah, C, F, C, A minor, F, G, C. It's like... I never met anybody that likes to work as hard as I do until I met Dan. It's one of those collaborations where the skill set really comes together incredibly fluidly to me. You know, um, I, I write sort of tunes and, and chords in a very kind of primeval, basic way, and uh, he has a fluency with with music that allows us to be really articulate with with the emotions of the film. And every time we do music together, it's it's the most crazy but also functional and exciting, beautiful process of, of making the films, I would say. You make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. It's a completely different process, recording a film score as opposed to recording a band. I mean, with film scores, you temp out the entire thing of synthesizers before you go in and play one note, you know? Or in, at least in the process that I'm using. Um, with a band, you have, you just start recording right away. With film score, it's like such little specific things, like one violin note changes everything, where it's like, in pop music, it's a lot more of like, let's try this, does it sound cool? Yes, no, I don't know, you know, it's like, throw this on, throw this on, see what sticks. I've been playing music since I was, I guess, seven years old. Uh, I started taking guitar lessons, and then I started like playing in rock bands in high school. But I went to college for, for music, and I, I've been producing albums, I've been writing songs and stuff. Um, but I didn't start scoring films until I met Ben. Uh, my first film score, which was uh, Death of the Tin Man, was a short film that Ben and I scored together. Bill was the town pariah, the most hated man in a 20-mile radius. The reasons for this were unclear. Ben and I hung out for, for like, oh, I guess like 10 days straight, just working all day on this on this 10 minute score. And you know, and I love doing it. And that's how Ben and I started working together. When they return to the bathtub and we just have the long chords, you know, mm. da, da, da. If you can do like, I feel like what Ben does is that because he scores the films with me um, and he, he, know, he kind of has an idea of what the music is gonna do later on. So I feel like he intentionally leaves certain parts of the movie out so that the music can fill it in. Sometimes the way that we work is uh, we'll have, we'll know where the piece begins, we know where it ends, and then Ben will point to places on the screen and be like, I need them to cry there, I need them to cry there. It's like, okay, let's do it. This exact spot is where every instrument in Beast of the Southern Wild was recorded. Uh, <laughs> All, all the violins and, and violas and cellos were, uh, they sat right here and used this microphone uh, to record it. This is a, a Perlman TM1, hand built by Dave Perlman out in Los Angeles. Um, and uh, all the percussion that we recorded uh, was, oh God, the mic stand just broke. Uh, all the percussion we recorded was using this Royer uh, 121. Uh, it gets a more kind of like Tom Waitsy weirdo lo-fi sound for stuff which uh, is very important to us. This is uh, my baking sheet that I use. We didn't use it on Beast, but it's one of my favorite sounds. I think it's very beautiful. Uh, I really like using cooking ware as my percussion. This was one of our most important percussion instruments, uh, the table. And it doesn't sound like much when you just hit it normally, uh, but once you put a ton of distortion on it, it becomes this humongous aggressive sound uh, that we use quite a bit. It's it's magic to me, you know, because I don't I don't come from a, you know, I, I I write music, you know, but but I don't have the same sort of um, you know, I don't sort of see the matrix uh, as as well, and 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 Dan has a real ability to kind of, you know, um, just find like a shape, of, like, just a slightly different voicing of a chord or a, or, a, or a way to bring in very subtle emotions within within the framework of a theme. <laughs> Ben and I have this kind of like um, soldiers in a foxhole vibe <laughs> when we're working together. 
it's like, and it's like, you know, we're like sitting there, you know, with the enemy outside, and we're we're just like ready for anything to happen. And both Ben and I, I feel like, are just happiest when we're in front of the computer together, in front of a piano together, you know, making music. It's great that we've been working together so long, and then we know that we're gonna keep on doing this the rest of our lives. That's a doesn't feel like a change. It just feels like we get to, we get to stay the course and, and keep on uh, doing what we love to do. Thank you.